A lot of the engineering at Stout and the plastics engineering program are here because of the company he grew, right? That's why we're here. The entrepreneurs who started in their garage and then built it into a great manufacturing empire, those were the true industrial leaders, and Bob Cervenka fit in that mold very, very well. Through Bob's philanthropy, he really helped Stout realize that engineering could be a successful conduit to people having really good job opportunities. He would be very, very excited about how well engineering has grown at UW-Stout, and he was instrumental in making that happen. Bob was drawn to people, and he was drawn to people who were committed to things that they believed in. It wasn't just management or you know high-level positions he was talking to. He talked to everyone. Without a doubt, he felt the people were the biggest asset of any organization, and he really embraced what he called the people process principles. It really helped me to grow as a young engineer and learn how I would want to manage people. He liked to build teams, and to that end, he was, uh, was great at building a team here at UW-Stout, being part of it as well. And you really never heard people say bad things about Bob Cervenka, because he just genuinely was a great guy. He started a plastics injection molding business in Phillips, uh, which grew to be uh, hugely successful. Phillips Plastics has been engaged with UW-Stout for a long time. When we started working in the Menominee area, we found that UW-Stout was graduating a tremendous amount of hands-on capable engineers. I was a graduate, went into the engineering and training program. It's just been a, a fantastic relationship with Phillips Metasize and UW-Stout collaborating back and forth. The idea was that what we were going to try to do is bring engineering to the campus. He was really substantial in giving significant support to uh, help us build labs. Helping to build that infrastructure was really, really important for getting us off to a good start. We started with manufacturing engineering earlier in 1994. Now we've evolved from manufacturing engineering to computer engineering, plastics engineering, and the latest one, mechanical engineering. There's quite a, uh, a legacy that he has left here for, for UW-Stout, and now ultimately for the School of Engineering. I envision what this school will do for UW-Stout will create a higher level of acceptance in the marketplace. The School of Engineering adds a, a level of legitimacy to what engineering is at this institution. When you say, hey, I'm a professor at UW-Stout or I'm a graduate of UW-Stout, that they go, oh, wow, that's really cool. You must have a great job or I want to hire you because they recognize it. It will definitely attract more students, faculty and staff. It will also um, positively influence the local economy. To be able to work with the university, with the different professors there, it's just going to really benefit the area immediately. And for students in the region, it really means more opportunities to get into a, a high demand, high paying career field. Having a engineering program at UW-Stout, where one of our largest campuses is, we're very supportive of that. Bob Cervenka's impact has been, has been um, uh, indescribable. I think it's, it's a recognition that engineering has come to stay here at UW-Stout. I, I think it's fantastic and long overdue uh, just with the way industry and technology is growing in the region. He's, he's achieved really a legacy here at Stout that's been sustained and uh, to have his name on, on that uh, school is extremely appropriate. I think it's a, it's a wonderful thing for Stout and for Menominee in the state of Wisconsin.